Mime, Fairy Air, Yehele, Gobeyo. My name is Fairy Air, and I, my original country is from Burma, which is in Asia. Does your name have a special meaning to it? I'm not sure because uh, this name was given uh, by my grandfather. So I think that just he wanted to name me because my father is uh, like the, the first boy, the first male in the family uh, because uh, my grandfather has four daughters before my father and that I am the first. I am the oldest daughter to my father and that I think he will love me a little bit more than the other. So he gave me a beautiful kid, a beautiful name. My name is Taije. Ya, me, me, Taije. Did you spend time in a refugee camp? Uh, yes, I have been in refugee camp. Uh, study from 1997 to 2014. So you can count that how many years. Yeah. For our camp, we have the populations around 10,000 at the beginning. Yes, around that. It, um, and then we have, I think, around 1,000 family, like 1,000 houses in that area. And then we have to stay in a very limited area. We have uh, on the outside of the camp, we have uh, the Thai authority people that let, let they have to stay and protect us and that they, they are stay there. And that we have to stay in a very limited area, but we still have a chance that we can go to school. We also have the organization that help us with um, the sanitations, uh, like the hospital, or. Uh, like the social world, like they have, they help with the orphanage, like they take care of the kids, the family that uh, in need. For our home, we only have a bamboo house and that the roof is the plastic sheets. So you can imagine that as Thailand is near to the equator, so it's hot. And then we also have like the UNHCR, United Nations Committee for Refugees. Yeah, they help us and that if we need something, they will arrange uh, uh, everything for us. And then we also have uh, like the organization that help us with food. So we get rice, fish paste, and the yellow bean, then white salt, yeah, that, that's most of the things that we got from refugee. At, uh, at our family, family, uh, family site, we got our unit like that. My name is Candice, yeah, me, Matt Candice. Like, what was it like to celebrate holidays in refugee camp? Mm -hmm. In refugee camp, we will have like, we will celebrate because of we are re refugees, so we celebrate the refugee day in june i think around june 20th there is world refugee day so in that day we will have like uh, sports like the soccer competition volleyball competition and the 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 leader will talk about how the refugee happened and then we will also have uh, our traditional show or something like that yeah then we also have our current people holidays so i can i will tell you about that like we have our current new year celebration is, is in our month we call the lay first of the lay it's something is in december someday uh, sometimes it was in january because because of the rotations of the month. And then for this year, we have our current New Year celebrations on January 13th. And we also have a current mattress day 
We also invite the authority people in Akron, like the mayor or the some someone, to come and see. But uh, whether whether you are ever be there or before or not, but at that time we will also like for some correct people they are Buddhist and that they are uh, Christian. So as we are as we are Karen, we have the chance to celebrate what we believe. So the, uh, the Buddhist people, we also celebrate the wrist tie. Current New Year or Petra's Day, like we, for the celebration, firstly, we will have the, uh, the speaker ceremony first, and then it will follow up with the with the dance because we have a uh, different dance like don't dance bamboo dance for our and that as we are in this community we also have the other uh, community members so we will invite the nepali or or the other people to come and participate so we we can build up our our community is more stronger in the future like that. And therefore the celebration, like mostly we eat rice because rice is our main food. And then we have it like some meat and vegetable or the soup and something like that, yeah. Do you celebrate Christmas? Yes, for, uh, for us as a Christian we do. Yes. Now that you're an American citizen, are there any holidays or traditions you celebrate that you did not celebrate before? I have been in this country only six years ago, so I have to observe more and then learn more about this country. So I did, I think I didn't celebrate different, but since I was here, I know that we, uh, this country celebrate July 4th. Like in my country, I will never know about that. I will never celebrate that. But as I'm, I was, uh, as I am a citizen right now, that, that is important to me, so. Please describe your favorite holiday meal. Rice, sticky rice. Uh, a sticky rice and side fries, fried meat, and then we also have rice noodle, uh, kinds of our our meal that we eat during our holiday, but mostly rice. Sweet sticky rice, we have the sticky rice and the coconut that uh, we, I don't know how to say that, we make it to a smaller, and then a little bit of salt and then we will mix it all together and then we will make it like a little ball and then we will put in uh, the plate and then we can serve it with uh, like coffee. Yeah, you can eat with coffee or something. My name is Aaron Gami May Aaron. In the United States, often sports and holidays go hand in hand. Thanksgiving and football, Christmas and basketball. In the summer, we often play sports at our family events. And celebrations are their traditional carrying sports or activities played. Yeah, in my culture, like when we were in our village, like we will have the spot like like in the Christmas celebration or on the New Year, we have the kids are like the the running the track, but not so far away. That we we also have the marathon or something like that, and that we 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 usually have the soccer competition or that and the volleyball. Yeah, we have that kind of sport. On in the past, we also have the the fighting without the gloves. This is the Karen shirt. If you are a uh, a married uh, female, you will have a a shirt and a sarong. We call this sarong. But for the for a single person, they will have a long dress long white dress 
and then it it, it also have the mini because the single it's pure they will not have uh, the relationship with anything so they are pure so they can uh, they have to wear long white dress for the for a married female and then we have to do it because most of Korean people when we are in our country we have to feed our kids so it's more easy for us to do that yeah yeah for the for the men we will also have the long g because it's long g it's a little bit different from the sarong and then for uh we also have the short i it, in the past they also the men i have wearing the red shirt the uh, uh married woman has to wear the black shirt with the sarong and the a single uh, ladies will wear the low white dress but nowadays we have many different kinds of style many different kinds of dress that we uh, we can wear yeah this is our current black red white and blue red is for bravery like uh, white is for purity, pure, yes. And then the the blue is for honesty or royalty, something like that. And then we also have this uh, a half sun with nine ray, rays up because uh, there are uh, nine places that most Korean people live in Burma that represent that night places. We also have a golden drum on that. How can we assure that we are treating you with respect when visiting your home and or interacting with you in general? Mostly when you come to the Karen people house, first thing you have to do is you have to take out you have to take off your shoe uh, before you enter the house. Yeah, we are not uh, usually wear shoe inside our house. That is the first day. And then when we enter the house, yeah, we just say hello or good morning in our language. And that's, and that's sometimes we will shake hand. We are not usually hug something <laughs> like that, but we will shake, shake hand. And that if you need to say now and that even though the 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 homeowner and, and the people will not will not they will not say there yeah you can have a seat but if you if you want to sit down you can sit down anywhere you want to sit yeah in the house and like in the living room yeah but because because i mostly i saw um american people when they come to our house Unless we ask them to sit down, they would not sit down. So that is kind of let we let, let you know about that. For career people, I think they were more shy to talk to people. So if it's possible, the teacher or the friend, if they start first talking to them, that will be better because mostly we are in the forest and that we are not meet with most of people so we're gonna start the conversation so it's hard for us first to start but people but when people ask us we are happy to share or to talk or to make friends that is one thing that i want you to know about that w koga thanks all Bye.